Imagine never feeling frustrated by difficult people again. Sounds impossible, right? Wrong. In this video, I'm gonna share fast and easy life-changing tactics with you and how to deal with seven difficult and toxic people so you can save your sanity. These are tactics I wish more people knew and used to improve their communication, and they're about to change your life. Ever heard of the gray rock technique? Stick around to learn how it can save you from toxic people. Your micromanaging pessimistic boss, your narcissistic friend, or that relative who's always trying to manipulate you. As we go through each type of personality that drives you crazy, hit that thumbs up when you recognize that's someone who's in your life. Now that we've set the stage, let's dive into our first challenging personality type. We're starting with a real doozy, the manipulator. You know the type. They're masters at pulling strengths and twisting situations to their advantage. I'm about to unravel their tactics and arm you with strategies to keep you cool and maintain control. Dealing with manipulative personalities can be challenging. They often use deceptive tactics to control others and achieve their goals. But don't worry, I've got four practical tips to help you master your communication skills with these types of difficult people. When dealing with a manipulator, trust your instincts. If something feels off or too good to be true, it probably is. Be cautious and don't let their charm or persuasive tactics cloud your judgment. Establish clear boundaries with the manipulator and assert your needs. Clearly communicate your limits and expectations. Be specific about what behaviors you will and won't tolerate from the manipulator. Keep the conversation focused on facts and objective information. Avoid getting drawn into emotional arguments or personal attacks. This can help prevent the manipulator from using your emotions against you. Reach out to friends, family, or colleagues for support and advice when dealing with a manipulative person. Having a support network can help you stay grounded and provide valuable insights on how to handle the situation. Now that you're better equipped to handle manipulators, let's turn up the difficulty level. Ever felt like you're just a supporting character in someone else's personal movie? Get ready to tackle an equally challenging personality type, the ultimate scene stealers who think the world revolves around them, narcissists. Narcissists can be difficult to handle as they often have an inflated sense of self-importance and a lack of empathy for others. Here are four practical tips to help you communicate effectively with narcissistic people. When dealing with a narcissist, it's essential to maintain your confidence and self-esteem. Don't let their behavior undermine your sense of self-worth. Remember, you also have valuable insights and experiences to contribute to the conversation as well. Set and enforce firm boundaries with a narcissist and assert your needs. With narcissists, it's crucial not just to set boundaries, but to consistently enforce them. Be prepared to follow through with consequences when boundaries are crossed. Narcissists often thrive on conflict and may try to provoke arguments. Instead of engaging in a heated debate, stay calm and composed. Focus on finding common ground and working towards a solution. Show the narcissist that you're generally interested in their perspective by practicing active listening. This can help create a more balanced conversation and may encourage them to be more open to your input. Now that we've covered strategies for dealing with narcissists, let's discuss a powerful technique that can be particularly effective against both narcissists and manipulators. Ever felt like you needed an invisibility cloak to evade a conversation? Well, I've got something even better. It's called the gray rock technique, and it might just become your new secret weapon. Curious? Check this out. The gray rock technique is like having a superpower when dealing with difficult personalities. Imagine become as boring and unresponsive as, well, a gray rock. Sounds crazy, right? But it works. Here's how. When you're dealing with someone who thrives on drama and emotional reactions, you simply don't give them any. Keep your voice monotone, your answers short and uninteresting, and your body language neutral. It's like you're the world's dullest person. On purpose, the goal, to make the interaction so boring that the difficult person loses interest and moves on. It's emotional self-defense without throwing a single punch. But remember, use this technique wisely. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution and might not be suitable for close relationships or with unpredictable people. Think of it as a tool in your communication toolkit. Use it when needed, but don't rely on it for every situation. Master the gray rock technique and you'll have a powerful way to protect yourself from emotional manipulation. Just don't be surprised if people start mistaking you for an actual rock. 
Now that I've armed you with strategies for dealing with manipulators and narcissists, including the powerful gray rock technique, let's tackle another challenging personality type. But what if the person you're dealing with isn't just self-centered or manipulative, but thinks they have all the answers? Up next, we'll uncover the tactics for keeping your cool and holding your ground when faced with those who always seem to know better. Get ready to master the art of handling know-it-alls without losing your mind or the argument. Know-it-alls can be challenging as they always seem to have all the answers and never listen to anybody else. Here's four practical tips to help you navigate these situations with grace and confidence. When dealing with a know-it-all, it's essential to remain calm and composed. Don't let their attitude get under your skin. Instead, maintain a positive and respectful demeanor, even if you disagree with their opinions. Encourage the know-it-all to think more deeply by asking them open-ended questions. This can help them consider alternative perspectives and may even lead them to question their own assumptions. Give credit where credit is due. If the know-it-all has valuable knowledge or experience, acknowledge it. This can help build rapport and make them more receptive to your input. Share your own experiences and insights without directly challenging the know-it-all. This can help create a more balanced conversation and demonstrate that you also have valuable knowledge to contribute. We've tackled those who think they know everything, but what about people who refuse to budge an inch? Up next, we'll crack the code on communicating with people who seem to have their feet set in concrete. Prepare to unlock the secrets of persuading even the most incredibly stubborn individuals without resorting to a sledgehammer. Stubborn individuals can be tough to handle as they often refuse to change their opinion or actions even when presented with new information. Here's four practical tips to help you communicate effectively with stubborn people. When dealing with a stubborn person, it's essential to remain calm and patient. Getting frustrated or angry will only make the situation worse. Keep your cool and approach the conversation with a level-headed mindset. Show the stubborn person that you're generally interested in their perspective by practice active listening. This can help create a more balanced conversation and may encourage them to be more open to your input. Try to understand the reasons behind their stubbornness and empathize with their feelings. This can help you find common ground and make it easier to communicate your point of view. When presenting your argument, focus on facts and evidence rather than opinions. This can make it more difficult for the stubborn person to dismiss your points and may encourage them to reconsider their stance. Think you've met all the difficult personalities? Hold on tight because we're about to explore a type that's as elusive as a chameleon on a kaleidoscope. Let's unravel the mystery of dealing with passive aggressive behavior in relationships and learn how to deal with those hidden hues of hostility. Passive aggressive individuals can be tough to handle as they express their feelings indirectly, making it difficult to understand their true intentions. Here's four practical tips to help you master your communication skills with passive aggressive people. When dealing with passive aggressive people, it's crucial to remain calm and composed. Don't let their indirect communication provoke you. Instead, Maintain a positive and respectful demeanor, even if you're feeling frustrated. Gently confront the passive aggressive person about their behavior. Use the I statements to express your feelings and observations without sounding accusatory. For example, say, I noticed that you seem upset when I mentioned the project deadline. Is there something you'd like to discuss? Promote a healthy communication environment by encouraging the passive aggressive person to express their thoughts and feelings openly. Let them know that it's okay to disagree or have negative emotions, but it's essential to communicate with them directly and respectfully. Want to turn passive aggression into straight talk? Try this. Create a no judgment zone for honest chats and reward clear communication like you're handing out gold stars. When you spot indirect comments, gently flag them. That sounds a bit roundabout. What's really on your mind? Show them direct talk is like upgrading to a communication smartphone. But don't forget to model the behavior. Be as clear as a drive through order about your own needs. Remember, this change won't happen overnight. It's like teaching a cat to swim. Patience is key. From indirect communication to outright negativity, our next personality type sees the glasses perpetually half empty. Brace yourself as we navigate the stormy seas of constant criticism and gloomy forecasts. Get ready to turn those rain clouds into silver linings as we explore strategies for dealing with pessimists. Pessimists can be tough to handle as they often focus on the negative aspects of the situation. Here's four practical tips to help you master your communication skills with pessimistic people. When dealing with a pessimist, it's essential to maintain a positive attitude and show empathy. Acknowledge their concerns 
but also highlight the positive aspects of the situation. Acknowledge their concerns, but also highlight the positive aspects of the situation. This can help create a more balanced conversation and encourage them to see things from a different perspective. Encourage the pessimists to think about potential solutions by asking solution-oriented questions. This can help shift their focus from the problem to possible ways to overcome it. Share your own experiences and insights on how you've dealt with similar situations. This can help demonstrate that challenges can be overcome and that there's always a silver lining. Establish certain topics or times when a more positive outlook is required. This sets a boundary on negativity without directly challenging their personality. Last, but certainly not least, we're going to tackle a personality that can drain your energy faster than an old smartphone running too many apps. Prepare to meet the human equivalent of a leaky faucet, the chronic complainer. Dealing with complainers can be tough as they often focus on the negative aspects of everything. Here's four practical tips to help you handle complainers effectively. First, lend a listening ear to the complainer. Sometimes all they need is someone to vent to. Show empathy and understanding, but avoid getting sucked into their negativity. Remember, your goal is to help them feel heard and validated. Once you've listened, try to steer the conversation towards a more positive direction. Ask questions that encourage a complainer to think about solutions or alternative perspectives. This can help them shift their focus from the problem to potential solutions. Set time limits for venting. Allow them to express their frustrations, but within a defined time frame. After that, redirect to problem solving or more positive topics. Maintain a positive attitude when dealing with complainers. Your optimism can be contagious and may help them see the brighter side of things. Share your own experiences of overcoming challenges and how you've grown from them. Whew, wow, we covered a lot of ground today, haven't we? From manipulators to complainers, we've tackled some of the toughest personality types out there. Now, I've got a quick question for you. Do you know someone who could benefit from these strategies? Maybe a friend dealing with a difficult coworker or a family member struggling with a toxic relationship? If so, don't keep this valuable info to yourself. Hit that share button and spread the knowledge. After all, we're all in this together. And the more we know, the better we can handle life's challenging personalities. And there you have it, your toolkit for navigating the maze of difficult personalities. Remember, mastering these techniques takes practice, but with time, you'll become a pro at handling even the toughest social situations. Oh, but wait, there's more. Ready to level up your people skills even further? Click the video on your screen now for additional tips and tactics to deal with challenging personality types. Don't let toxic people poison your life. Keep learning, stay positive, and watch that next video to keep working toward mastering your overall effective communication. Thanks for watching. I'll see you online soon.